Um, can you tell me a little bit about how you chose your topic and um, combined an area that you were really interested in with math? Well, we really wanted to do something that both of us didn't know and both of us could tie into. So she, my partner, is Mary Ellen, and she does band, and I'm from Chopar, and so we wanted to do something that um, kind of we really didn't know about and something that was con connected to those two, and I immediately thought, what about sound waves? Because, you know, if stuff has to generate sound, and a lot of kids don't know about sound waves because I was never taught about sound waves, and, um, and I'm sure if I wasn't taught, or people wouldn't, wasn't taught. So that's what we did. We did sound waves and um, how they connected to the world and how it connected to singing and um, the band and how instruments make sounds and different animals make sounds and all that. And so how did you connect that to math? Well, there was a formula. It's called the sound wave formula, which is pretty unique. But, and it's called the sound wave formula. And it's like, I can't remember exactly what it was. It's, uh, the frequency times the wavelength equals how much sound it produces, or something like that. And I, I have to pull it up and, you know, stuff like that. And, but, so, um, it had a formula, and it was kind of hard to understand at first, because um, a lot of the numbers you use are really hard to, um, because it's lots of decimals and lots of big numbers, because waves are big. So, um, that's how we type them. Okay. And uh, I think you decided that the evaluations helped you a lot, the way that you evaluated others and they evaluated you. Yes. I feel like, well, you know, when I'm more of a visual person, so when I write it down and I draw a picture and I work out the problems, you know, I see it more and I understand it better. And so, like, writing it down helped me a lot because, you know, you could see what, and you could also give feedback to like say what you didn't really understand and like what you did understand which was really um, helpful for my brain but when I got my evaluations back you know I kind of understood okay maybe next time we do this project I should just really under like make this more clear or um, stuff like that and um, so some of your friends in the class told you some things they thought you could do better and that didn't hurt your feelings no, 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 it's constructive criticism. It's very helpful to me. And, um, you know, you get to go back, and if you had a question about what they said, you know, you could always go back to them and ask them, you know, why did you think this or something.